Hi everybody, I'm Tim Healy, the voice of the Sun Devils, and I'm standing next to one of the all-time great basketball players in Arizona State history, Jumpin' Joe Caldwell, who on this Saturday will be the first Sun Devil player honored by having his number hang from the rafters high atop Wells Fargo Arena. There will be many other Sun Devils to be so honored in the uh, months and years to come, but Jumpin' Joe, who played here in the early 1960s, will be the first and will be honored before Saturday's men's basketball home opener against UAB. Joe, great to see you. Tell me what your reaction was when you found out that your number 32 was going to hang from the rafters for all time. You know, I was so uh, uh, proud of uh, uh, being uh, chosen to be the first. Uh, I mean, Coach Herb Sindecker called me and said, Joe, he says, uh, we want to honor you from uh, the uh, home game. I was excited because of it. And the joke, joke, I said, well, you're about to make me cry, though, I said, <laughs> because it, it, it was something that an athlete, uh, you know, dreamed of and hoped that he would someday get there. Mm -hmm. And when I had a few moments to sit and think about it, I thought about what my mom and my dad always taught me, hard work, respect others, and then do your job. Mm -hmm. So apparently I did my job because I was thinking of him and the my mom and my dad is not here now. It, 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 it means something to me. Oh, they're watching somewhere, as is your former coach, Ned Walk. Yeah, huh? I, I, can, I can imagine uh, Coach Ned Walk and my, my mom talking to each other. You know, I can see them, so they, they became good friends. Now, fans, this is really something. Jumpin' Joe won a U.S. Olympic gold medal as a member of the 1964 American uh, U.S. Olympic basketball team. That was in Tokyo, right? right. The Tokyo, Tokyo Olympics. Japan, yeah. And yet Joe says that this honor, his number hanging from the rafters, ranks right up there with winning that gold medal in terms of the biggest thrills in your life. It's, it's, it's two of the most biggest thrills in my life. I, I, I'm so, I, I'm, I'm, I'm here talking to you, but I'm like in another fantasy world. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is unbelievable. I, 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 sometimes I swell up and I try to keep them showing my emotions about it, but it's, it's there. Yeah. I show it to my grandkids and they, and they love me and I love them. And now anyone who comes into the arena will see Joe's jersey hanging in the rafters, number 32. Tell us about those teams you played at Arizona State here in the early 1960s. One of your teams went 26 and 3, which still stands as the uh, best winning winning uh, percentage record in ASU history. Yeah, we was tough in those days. Um, uh, Dennis Derman, Art Becker, uh, Gerald Jones, Raulis Alfino, Tony Sukman, we was tough. Gary Hahn, Gary Sennison, we was this tough. Rich Coppola, I can go on. I, 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 most of the guys still live in the valley and I see them every once in a while. And we laugh and we talk about it. When are they going to break our record? You know, we, we don't know. You know. But it's, like I said, this is this is a moment that uh, I guess every athlete should try for. I know I, I try to tell my grandson, your grandfather's going to be hung in the rap. He said, well, what do you mean, Grandpa? I said, Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> I had to clear it up. Not said, Grandpa, yeah, yeah, just the Jersey. Just the Jersey, yeah. They said, oh, okay. And then they said, oh, no. They get they happy. And then when I watched my grandkids respond to this, it just stuck. What really makes Joe so special is not only his legacy as a great former Sun Devil player, but he is through the years stayed connected to the program. He's here all the time, attends virtually every practice, and I wanted to get your thoughts on the job Coach Sendek is doing with this program. I love what he's doing. It reminds me of when Ned Moore was there, that fast up tempo game, play good defense. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he got some horses there. I think he's going to win the guy. Everybody says he's going to pick the picture. I think it's a fifth or six in the back. I think we're going to win it. I think we're going to go to the big dance. And I like the way these kids are playing. I like the way they're thinking. And it's, it's just a matter of them getting in their minds that they got to do their job. If they each one of them do their job with Coach Sendecker has in there. I'm saying, wow, this is this is Ned Walk and reincarnation. Wow. But, wow. Uh, but the young kids got to figure it out. Mm -hmm. But I think it's going to And Joe told me that if any team will break his team's 26 and 3 record. You've given Coach Sendek permission I, to do so. I would, I would feel very honored and very, this would make this night even better if he would uh, this year win the whole thing on the year that they hung my jersey, that he fought for me. So that's, 
That would be the ultimate that, thing. That, That'll be number three. That would be my, that would be head. something else. <laughs> They're your third all time. Third, third all, all time three. Yeah. yeah. We'll get out here to Wells Fargo Arena this Saturday. It's a two p.m. tip. They'll have ceremonies before the game and at halftime, during which one of the all time greats, Jumpin' Joe Caldwell, will have his number and jersey hung from the rafters here at Wells Fargo Arena. I'm Tim Healy. I'm Joe Caldwell. Go Sunday. Go Devils.